So in this video I'm going to show how you can change the graphics settings to get better frame rates or a better looking Ghost Recon. So the first thing you're going to be looking at is you have anti-aliasing. And each of these things is uh, uh, you can change. So anti-aliasing takes diagonal lines and makes them look straighter instead of jaggy. To see what the cost of each of these changes is, in the graphics section I ran a baseline with my GTX 950. And the lower blue line there is 39 frames per second, and that's at medium 1080p. Then I changed the 1080p to point A resolution scaling and got a boost to 47.89. That's kind of like running it up to 900p, and that gives you more frames per second. So the next line up is FXAA, and it shows that it changed to 48.51, so it'll cost you 0.6 frames per second to add FXAA anti-aliasing. The next setting is ambient occlusion, and to change it to SSBC, if you turn it off, you're only losing two tenths of a frame. So you can turn it on and or off, and it doesn't affect your frame rate hardly at all. The next setting is draw distance, and you can change that from medium to low, and that also uh, affects you about one frame per second, from 48.69 to 49.64. Then we have level of detail, and to change that from medium down to low went from 49.64 to 50.95, so you're talking about 1.4 frames there. The next setting up is textures, and textures is going to strain your GPU a lot and cause a, a large frame per second drop or gain. And if you look at the grass in the right corner, you can see that the strands of grass actually get much better as you change your textures up. So it affects the look of your game a lot. But in this game, it ran from uh, 50.95 to 56.19. So it took 5.2 frames per second to change the textures. Just one notch. It also requires a lot more video RAM, so if you have a 2 gigabyte card, it's going to be very difficult to run high textures. Then the next up is anastropic filtering. It goes from 0 to 16, and it went from 56.19 to 54.98 when we turned it up to 16. So it's going to take away um, 1.2 frames per second. It fills in the detail if on you, when you're looking at a long horizontal expanse. Instead of it getting all fuzzy and muddy, it tends to make the detail look much better in the distance on the horizontal plane. I like it for that reason. Next up is Shadows, and Shadows take another big hit. It goes from 56.19 to 62.49, so you're talking almost 6 frames to go from uh, when you take Shadows away from medium to low. But without Shadows, it looks like crap, and so without Shadows, to me it's not worth playing. Next up is terrain, and terrain is kind of like textures. It's going to add detail. Knocking it down one setting caused it to go from 62.49 to 65.68, so you're talking three frames there. Then we have vegetation quality. I like having extra vegetation. I'm not interested in running through a jungle that doesn't have any plants in it. So the vegetation quality went from 65.68 to 67.5, which means you're talking less than two frames. Now we come to turf on or off. That's it, your two choices. From 67.5 to 63.97, so that's 64. So you're talking about a three and a half frames if you want to turn turf on. Next up is motion blur. It takes about 1.2 frame hit if you turn it on. Then we have iron sight depth of field. Costs you nothing. And high quality depth of field costs you less than a tenth of a frame, and I like the extra look. Then we have bloom. Bloom goes from 68.51 to 70.37, so you're talking at almost two frames per second hit. Then we have subsurface scattering. It's going to cost me too much. It goes from 70.37 and drops it down to 67.3, so you're talking three frames per second hit with that turned on. Then we have lens flare. I like lens flare. It doesn't cost anything. It's maybe a tenth of a frame, and I like to see the little twinkle that the sun makes. So I put it on. And finally, we have long range shadows, and 
I don't need to see shadows in a long distance far away off. I like to look at more things that are up close to me than long range. And so here we have a low preset and we're going to do the GTX 950 at 1080p one resolution scaling so no decrease and the sharpening is on. And as you can see the picture is uh, it's good, but it's not very rich. There's no shadows. And so the truck has no shadows below it. The buildings don't cast shadows. The AI bots don't cast any shadows. You know, there's a lot of other th features that are off also, but it's the lack of shadows that makes a huge difference. So you're getting a pretty high 50s frame rate on low without any, uh, with 1080p full on. Now you can see the sandbags on the left don't have any shadows, which ambient occlusion would put in there. Okay, now we're going to look at 1080p, straight 1080p, with a medium preset. The graphic setting is just the medium preset. And immediately, you can tell, it looks a lot richer than the low setting. You have a shadow for the buildings, a shadow for the trees, a shadow for yourself, a shadow for all the AI bots and the other people that you're going to come across and it's got increased uh, textures, increased terrain but the cost is that you're hovering around 30 frames a second you know you're dipping down into the high 20s and you're going up into the mid 30s maybe 40 so your frame rates really taking a big hit at 1080p. Now we're going to take it and take away some of the graphic settings from the medium that we put in and we're going to knock it down to 80 percent resolution and immediately you're going to see that the frame rates have jumped from the 30s to about 45 you still have the shadows your bots have shadows the buildings have shadows and the look is excellent it looks rich when you go into the grasses they're blowing in the wind Once again, our frame rates are going between, you know, hovering around 45, maybe 40 up to 50. So now we're going to show that if the resolution gets set to 1080p at 0.7 and all of the graphic settings except textures, shadows, and a few others are turned on, we're going to get up to close to 60 frames a second and it still looks great it looks way better than low you've got shadows you've got textures it's much more realistic looking and the frame rates the same as it would be on low at 1080p now of course it's not 1080p but it actually is a higher frame rate than you get at 900p so I hope this show has helped you see that you can get some a better looking game at higher frame rates than you can on low. Anyway, have a good time playing Ghost Recon.